Hi there, this is Alan Bach, and I just want to welcome you to our Smarty Training Program. What we're going to try to accomplish through this video is breaking our rope and down and showing you how through different drills with our program, we make practical application to a live run. Well, step one of our program obviously is, is getting in position. Like for me, I've always understood my rope and as position, swing, timing, delivery. So I start off everybody with this foundation. I build their foundation from showing them we want to stay to the left of the pipes, which is what I call lane two, where our, our swing is centered over the tail head of, our, of the steer or the pipes, and, and really get used to that distance where you like to rope from the best. Okay, on step two, we're basically just repeating step one, other than we, we don't have a corner that we're thinking about yet. We're just back about 30 feet we're walking right into our position. So I, I really like doing this a lot because it, it helps people learn that their hands and feet work together. So if you keep riding your horse past your spot, you're always gonna be too close. And that, that's what I find is one of the most biggest mistakes healers make is they, they come in too hot to their shot or they keep riding their horse too long where by doing this, you're practicing walking up to your spot and then you stop walking. And pretty soon, you'll get more and more confident that you're gonna walk right into that spot where it's the easiest place for you to rope from. If you don't know that spot really, really good, how's our horse gonna know that spot? And then it saves a lot of frustration. You can better, more properly, train your horse to go to his spot and learn that spot because you've been doing this on the pipes. Okay, now in step three, I, I created this little drill on the, on the pipes so that I could show people how the angle of their swing is so important as we transition into the steer, how it starts off steep and in quite a bit of angle. The tip is always pointed over the back, but then when I come in there, my angle levels out and it ends up just being just like step one and two where it's just a nice level angle and then I go right into my delivery out of that last swing which is nice and level. Never before did I ever see anybody practice coming, coming into the pipes as if they're riding the corner and practicing that, that swing and controlling that angle. The other thing I, I did here and what these barrels represent, showing you how high that you have to ride your horse and still hit lane two. Now obviously if I had to put those barrels a leap further, like one more barrel, you would have ended up in lane one, which is straight behind the, the pipes or straight behind the steer. And we don't want that. We, the more we can hit lane two, the better. Like I would say, a, the healers that rope right now, Jade Corkle is one of the best I've ever seen, or Paul Eves at, at coming in and hitting lane two consistently and setting herself up for a really easy shot. 